Most of the time, animals can handle themselves just fine without any outside help. After all, they're called wildlife for a reason. In fact, quite often these creatures help us. St. Bernard dogs rescue people in the snowy mountains, and horses help police officers keep peace inside big cities. Still, once in a while, we need to repay the favor. These two Australians dedicated their lives to doing just that. But when they received a phone call about a dangerous disturbance in an old mine shaft that even firefighters didn't want to deal with, their dedication to helping troubled animals was put to the ultimate test. Manfred and Helen Zabinskis are the co-founders of Five Freedoms Animal Rescue in Victoria, Australia. So they've performed plenty of animal-related miracles in their time. A recent rescue, however, might take the cake. Five Freedoms is an organization that rescues animals, catches snakes, provides a wildlife shelter, and even deals with animal issues that can arise during construction and land development activities. Manfred is not afraid of anything. During the first week of November, Five Freedoms received an alarming call. A stranger told Helen Zabinskis that there was something strange going on in an old mine shaft and asked her and Manfred to come over immediately. The situation sounded dangerous, and Helen and Manfred didn't want each other, or any of their volunteers, to get injured, so they called emergency services. Within no time, six firemen showed up and were ready to assess the situation. The mine shaft was at least 16 feet deep, so as one of the firemen went down the ladder to investigate, Manfred kept a close watch. Suddenly, they heard a slight sound coming from the bottom of the shaft. Something was alive and moving. Untrained to deal with creatures in dark, deep holes, the firemen wouldn't go down any further. Now it was up to Manfred to climb down and work his magic on the unidentified animal, which seemed to be scared and holding on for dear life. After hours of trying to calm whatever the animal was down, the rescue crew finally brought it up to safety where they could reveal to onlookers what exactly had been trapped down in that darkness. The onlookers were amazed to see that out of the mine shaft came an adorable little wallaby. But as Helen wrapped it in a blanket, she knew that this furry friend wasn't in the clear just yet. She quickly checked his teeth, his ears, his paws, and his fur. The good news was he wasn't severely injured. The bad news? was his coat was covered in maggots that were burrowing into his skin. He needed medical care right away. Helen and Manfred gave the wallaby some first aid care, but it wasn't enough. They agreed to pack up the van and take the poor bugger to Hepburn Vet Clinic. The ride over was a tense one. Would the wallaby make it through the day? Once the Five Freedoms team arrived at the clinic, a skilled veterinarian noted the wallaby was in rough shape, but he mostly just needed IV fluids, a few treatments, and a lot of rest. However, he was definitely not fit to be released into the wild at that point. Luckily for this little wallaby, Manfred and Helen were used to taking in a creature or two. In fact, they built their house into a shelter for rescued animals to recuperate. Animals like this wallaby. Helen and Manfred named the latest addition to their shelter, Louie, and vowed to take good care of him for as long as he needed it starting with some cuddles and a nice warm bottle of milk. During his first few days at the shelter, the couple kept a close eye on Louis, making sure he was adjusting well to life in the house and his wounds were starting to heal. Louis didn't seem to mind all the warmth and affection one bit. After a few days, Louis was already over the bottles of milk and began noshing on solid food, including grass, vegetables, leaves, and other foliage. This was a good sign, as it meant he was regaining both his strength and his independence. In fact, only two weeks later, Louis became restless, even in the larger enclosure. Despite moving from a baby cot to his own outdoor room, he started to quite literally bounce off the walls. It seemed like it was already time to say goodbye to Louis. Naturally, Helen and Manfred were sad to see Louis go, but they also knew that being released back into the wild was the best thing for him. Surely, though, he would never forget their helping hand in this time of need. Now, with Louis being back in his natural habitat, there was once again room for the next wallaby to come along and rest up at the Five Freedoms Rescue. For Helen and Manfred, it was just another day of making an animal happy. Tomorrow, they're on to the next one.
things are a little different in the land down under. While wallabies are cute and all, Australia is also teeming with wildlife that the rest of the world can't even imagine. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider sharing it with your friends and family. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next one.